Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing some stereo equipment today on the G35. As you've seen in the thumbnail there, we got a Type R Alpine 10 inch subwoofer with the box. We got the full wiring kit here. The Stinger makes some pretty good stuff. It's pretty thick gauge too. Uh, four gauge, it'll be plenty for this setup. Got a uh, MRV M500 amp. That'll be plenty out of that subwoofer too. A head unit and a few other goodies here to convert it over. So we're gonna go through the whole process of this whole system here. Uh, this car originally comes with the Bose speakers inside, so we're not gonna touch those yet, but uh, maybe later on we can put those in, but we're not looking to blow the trunk completely off of this thing either. So what we're doing here, we'll just give it a really nice sound and uh, should be plenty enough for this car. So we got everything cleaned out of the trunk here. We're gonna uh, start running wires first. So we're gonna pop the hood and obviously you run your main power wire off your battery. We'll run it all through the interior nice and clean. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually pop the hood and lay out exactly where the power wire is gonna go to. So this is actually where the battery box is over here. So we're gonna pull all this trim off here and then there should be a opening for the firewall. We'll be able to feed the power line through and run all of our cables down the trim and into the trunk where it needs to be for the app. This is the nice thing about this kit is actually that uh, you can take the power wire and separate it from the main fuse here. Uh, so it's easier so when you're revving one piece by piece, you're not revving this whole big piece of wire at the same time. So we're going to find a good spot to mount this here. Uh, it gives you two screw holes too as well. So we'll find a good spot in this tray here, nice and hidden. Run this to the power wire and then uh, we'll run our main wire through this boot here. Uh, through the firewall and down, and then right through the trunk. the wire through that boot that we were telling you about there right where the uh, main engine harness goes through and it will drop down right at the floor there right where you need it to be so now that the power wires ran through the bottom here I pulled this trim piece off and we're gonna run it kind of underneath the carpet up and behind these panels here and then meet it back into the trunk here because these actually need to put the amplifier to the deck and there needs to be a signal wire ran from the amplifier so it uh, notifies the amp when to turn on or when your key on engine off sort of thing or your accessories are on. So we got to run these two all the way back up and then uh, have all of our connections in the trunk and then we should be done with the trunk here. Now we're left with our signal wire I was telling you about before and our RCA cable. So we're gonna run them back up underneath here, across the dash, and then hopefully feed it in behind there so we can get all of our connections done.
Now you can see it's all tucked in and around here. Worked out pretty good because then it wraps up and around and underneath this panel underneath here and around and then it should stay up there no problem. And then that way you don't see any of the wires or it's a nice clean fit. Everything's coming up over where the head unit should be. Now that we have this fed here, we're gonna pull this trim panel off of here, this thin one here, uh, take the clock off and a few other things so we can pull out this radio and start putting in the new stuff. That's the screw that we're trying to get to right there that allows us to take this off here, so. <laughs> Just went into Neverland. <laughs> we'll have to get the magnet for the keys out. <laughs> She's struggling. There we go. That was a head, pal. Good. <laughs> that long. Now we have the new head unit mounted in and it's actually nice with this Alpine head unit is uh, flip it around us. Look how low profile it is. All this room back here for wires and such can be tucked in. That's perfect. all the stereo equipment as you can see in here uh, we have all the wires just kind of floating out there we want to make sure everything works before we go and tuck it all behind the dash and everything and tuck it nicely make sure all the connectors are good so we're gonna get to the back here start running our subwoofer and uh, we have, well actually we ran our power wire and all that stuff as you've seen previously so we're gonna get the amplifier all wired up and uh, then the sub put in and that stuff placed in properly then we'll go up front and make sure everything works and then we'll tuck everything back so we just tested everything out here uh, everything's all hooked up properly the power and the signal wire and everything to the amplifier so now what we're going to do is uh, now we know all the speakers are working everything, we're gonna tidy up all this stuff here. So as you can see there, we wired everything up. It's all tucked in, it's working. As you've seen the subwoofer, it's all tucked in there. We uh, wired the amp in behind. Can't really see it in there. It's in behind the subwoofer. All the wires are ran, so that's good. Other than that, there's one piece that we are actually gonna put on too as well. It's actually a cover uh, for this here. And uh, it'll actually cover the uh, master cylinder and everything because there's a cover for the battery side, but there's not really a cover for over here. So it looks kind of open. So we went ahead and bought this uh, cover from Z1 Motorsports. It's actually the Japan version, the right hand drive version to cover up that side. It's symmetrical. So we're just gonna put that on that side and then you guys will see how it goes together. So as you guys probably know that there is a battery cover over here and then this is just open and it doesn't look too complete so if you get the right hand drive J Japan version their batteries usually on this side so they actually have a cover that was made for this side 
just like the battery cover over on this side. So essentially we're just putting another battery cover over top of this so it matches the other side. As you can see in the 350, they have covers on both sides too as well. Um, so like your battery and your cover here, just so you don't see all that stuff in there. So we're trying to just simulate that on this car. there what we installed it's just another cover it looks a lot better uh, now it's not so open there's a we had to do a bit of cutting uh, there's instructions that come with it we'll leave the link in the description uh, to go and get that cover it's off Z1 they offer a kit for it they had to do a bit of cutting and drilling but uh, other than that it was pretty straightforward install but that's gonna be it for today's video the stereo is all installed and everything as of for now guys we'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching